Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on machine learning data science uh, terminology series. In this video, we look into t-test. What is t-test? t-test is um, one of the methods in inferential statistics. Inferential statistics, which is again uh, a subset of your statistics. We have descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Inferential statistics deals with sampling the data and analyzing the data and the conclusions can be inferred to the entire population. It's a method of inferential statistics and it's, 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 it's used for hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing. It's one of the hypothesis testing method. There are majorly three types of t-tests um, available. One, the first one is one sample t-test. which is used to compare a, a distribution, a data, a, a distribution, data distribution with one single value. Something like, I want to compare the salaries of your organization with a certain value and see if that is the correct value or not as an indicator of your uh, t-test. So this is actually used with one distribution, one data distribution against a, a, a fixed value, which is called as hypothesized mean. Okay, second one is two sample independent t-test. This is used to compare two data samples. So basically you compare two distributions. Two distributions and say whether they are statistically different or not. Okay, and the third one is two sample relational, relational t-test. It's also called as paired t-test in some context. This used to compare two distribution as well, but they are related, something like before and after of phenomena. So there's a data distribution collected before and after. Let's say you want to test some act, uh, the effectiveness of a drug. Okay, so we take a readings of certain things uh, which the drug is actually affecting uh, before administering the drug. And then after administering a drug, you take an another reading and this becomes two data sets for you, two distributions. And we can use a two sample relational t-test to compare these two distributions, say whether they have significant differences or not. Okay, that's your t-test. It's a hypothesis testing. To qu quickly run through a, a, a quick model and see how exactly it works. So for, I'm going to take a salaries of an organization. So I'm going to say salary. Is that visible? Yeah, I think so. So salary, salary of an organization. Sorry, salary of an org, org A. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a rough salary details. Let's say in US dollars, thousands of US dollars per annum. So I said 200, 130, 145, 120, uh, 150, and 120, 130 and uh, 90, 180, and 210, for example. And this is your salaries in per annum in US dollars. US dollars in thousands per annum. I'll say thousand, thousands US dollars per annum. Okay. So I want to compare this distribution which is just randomly taken now with a fixed value and see if they are significantly different. For example, so I'm going to say my null hypothesis, that's what we call it as null hypothesis, H null or null hypothesis. Okay, null hypothesis is, is um, salary of an org A is 150k US dollars. Okay, so what is this 150k? 150k is your hypothesized mean. Yes, 150k US dollars per annum is actually your, we call it as mu naught, which is hypothesized mean. So 
um, when you take a null hypothesis, you also have what we call it as alternate hypothesis, HA, which is an opposite of null hypothesis. Which is not 150. Okay, so this is what we call as setting up an hypothesis. Now, uh, I can run a t-test to either prove or disprove a null hypothesis, okay? So I'm gonna just run a t-test and t-tests are implemented in your scientific Python SkyPy package in stats. So I'm gonna say from SkyPy, uh, SkyPy import stats. So that's a sub package. In that I have, um, so here I'm gonna say one sample t-test. So I say stats.tt one sample it's actually one sample over here one sample t test i'll pass on this distribution which is salary of org a and then i also pass on 150 which is my hypothesis when i run the test i get value saying statistic which is nothing but a t value so this statistic value which is given over here which is actually a t value this is nothing but t value so I have another video on hypothesis testing, a complete video, which I'll leave the link in the description, which has the entire details about sat, how the t-test works and, and the clear explanation of every single concept of it. Right now, I'm gonna simply tell this is a t-value and this is a p-value, which is a probability value. Okay, probability value is 84%, which means there is 84% chance that uh, the salary of this organization is equal to 150. So which is significant. In fact, we have a thumb rule saying if the probability is less than 5%, then we reject null hypothesis. Means that if it's really, really uh, less than 5%, then I can confidently say, and we call this as 95% confidence interval study, 95% confidence interval study. So what I mean to say, I can say with 95% confidence that uh, 150 is not the uh, actual uh, representation of the salary in this organization because I have a probability of less than 5%. In this case, I have 84%. So we happily accept null hypothesis and we say that yes, 150 is the correct indication, uh, indication of salary salary indication of salary of our game all right so great so um, you might even ask like why can't we simply compare a mean so and traditionally if you want to compare a data we, we can kind of like take a mean and say um, okay the mean is equal to 150 then they are equal but you know mean in a very remote case may be exactly equal to 150 but typically it's around that let's say you got a mean of so I can actually look at the mean of this one. Let's say, let's say, so I say, uh, uh, mean, you have a mean? Now I have to import this uh, numpy, or I can use a skippy as well. So I'm gonna simply import numpy right now as np, and say np mean of um, sal or gay. The mean is 147.5. So what are you gonna say? Is it equal to 150? Or not equal to 150. There is no much information. When you take a mean, it just gives you a number, and usually that number is not equal to what I want to compare. And how do you make a decision? Whereas in hypothesis testing, you get a probability, and in this case, the probability of 150 being the indicative figure of the salaries is 84%. So probability value is much more informative. And we have a thumb rule in statistics: if the probability is less than 5%. Uh, we can reject the null hypothesis. In this case, it's much more than 5%, 84%, we happily accept the null hypothesis and state that statistically, I cannot reject the claim that 150 is the, uh, um, the indicative figure for the salaries within this organization A, so I accept it. That's your hypothesis testing. And the same goes with uh, two sample t-tests when you're comparing two different data distribution, two sample relational uh, data set, which we compare two distributions which are related. And t-test is limited to, like if the maximum value is two. If it is more than two variables, uh, the distribution you wanna compare, we use an another type of testing called as analysis of variance or ANOVA test. It's also called as 
F test. Okay, that's all the T test is. People ask me that what is the meaning of T because F test is actually uh, Fisher. Uh, this is the scientist who invented this ANOVA test. And what do you mean by T? Well, there is no real abbreviation for T test and probably is one of the first tests in hypothesis testing. So maybe they have labeled it after statistics because statistics starts with yes. The next letter is T. So that could be the reason the T test is called T test. But I could not find any references what exactly the T means. Okay. Again, I shall share this a simple file with a few lines of code for your reference, which you can play around. And if you have any further questions on T test, please uh, post it on the comments. I will be more than happy to answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this channel, please click subscribe and click notification as well. And I'll see you in the next video.